All right. So another question. Um, this question is a bit sort of in depth. Like, uh, I've got a question here from uh, Trickit. Can you do a tutorial on how to sculpt detailed muscles? Okay. The thing about muscles um, is that there are all different types of muscles, and you have quite the awkward task of looking at dudes with big muscles. You know, not very good when your dad walks into your bedroom and there's a big, massive arrangement of muscular guys. So the thing about muscles is that some muscles look totally different depending on the uh, the level of vascularity. Uh, and vascularity means that the lower sort of uh, percentage body fat they have. So like you can see the striations in the the way the muscles are sort of connecting to all the sort of ligaments and joints and stuff. You know, it just depends on what sort of look you want to go for. You know, if you if you want the typical sort of comic book hero type look, then you really need to focus on sculpting the more of the shape of the muscle. But if you're trying to go for like a real sort of realistic, um, I don't know, like for a realistic thing, <clears throat> you have to figure out how vascular this guy is. You know how. Um, let's just type in vascularity. To uh, I'm going to show you. I can spell it right. Uh, Mr. Let's see vascularity. Now this is a pretty crazy. This is vascular. This is pretty much as vascular as you'll get. You know, it's just really sort of the veins popping out because there's completely no body fat there. It is just the pure outline of the muscle. Um, so it really does depend on what sort of muscles you're sort of going for. You know, like he he's pretty vascular, but that's I mean that is pretty ridiculous really. This guy looks he looks like a mutant to be honest. Um, to be honest, I mean, you don't really see most models like this unless you try to go for like some really like crazy looking creature. Then vascularity could be something you might want to sort of study. You know, pretty helpful if you're making something look totally inhuman. Even though it is a pretty, you know, it is human. You know, these guys are human, so I know it just looks weird, and you don't often see it in real life. It's pretty, pretty hard to achieve that level of vascularity. It's pretty crazy. So, uh, if you just type in something like. Um, I don't know, like Superman. Um, uh, we'll see, you know, just Superman has the, the the sort of typical comic book sort of anatomy. You know, he has the um, you know, like all these sort of scientific anatomy studies where the muscles sort of connect and join. It's that specific look that they're going for. So um, it really depends on what look you want. But the most key part, the most key thing, is uh, reference. Uh, uh, if I'm using like a, if I'm going for like a huge bodybuilder look, I'll probably use something like Ronnie Coleman um, as reference, just because there's so many pictures of the guy, and he's he's fucking huge, you know. <laughs> he's pretty much like just the best reference if you try and make like some like really Hulk-like character. Even the Hulk, I use the Hulk for reference as well. Um, shit, <laughs> awesome. Uh, Hulk. If you're talking Hulk anatomy. Let's see what comes up. Um, not so great. Uh, I find as well that uh, if you type in, like, if you want to search for something like it's add ZBrush on the end, like Hulk ZBrush, there's usually some of the great artists who have studied these things. Um, just great reference, really great reference. Um, but yeah, let's just, just get a jump in a ZBrush now. I'm just going to actually get a bit of reference going on here. Uh, I'll use Ronnie Coleman. We'll try and make like um, I don't know some really crazy looking muscular guy. Uh, this picture looks good. Um, just open Photoshop for a sec, and we'll uh, make a reference sheet. Um, if you want to sculpt really sort of good muscles, you want to kind of it's going to take time. You'll make some really sort of goofy looking stuff to begin with, um, just because it is all about how how many times you've done it, you know. Um, I'm just trying to see what else I can get as good reference. Good reference is really real hard to find um, when you're looking for muscle stuff because you know people don't don't take pictures of themselves, um, so eyes can replicate it. They they take it because you know to make them look as good as possible. So it's pretty hard to find good solid reference that you can use because um, they're always flexing as well. And when you flex your muscle, it looks totally different. You know, and and a character wouldn't be constantly <laughs> flexing his muscles. There are so many different things you've got to think about when you're making muscles. Uh, I'll get this back pose here. I'm not going to do a full character because that would take hours. Uh, it's only going to be quick and dirty as well. 
uh, I myself am not that great at anatomy, you know, I need to practice. Uh, it's one of the areas I'm lacking in. Um, so my sculpt uh, won't be that good. And I'm lagging. Don't lag on me. Sorry about this. Won't be a sec. Maybe I can switch to Photoshop. No. I should have closed down uh, ZBrush. The Oh, actually, I can get rid of that video. It's probably going to be laggy with that in there. I just, I've literally just recorded that second uh, this question I answered, uh, and I, did, I saw this one. All right, cool. Right, we're back on. Let's go. All right, reference sheets. Um, you want to make them the uh, the same size as your document. So just click on the document here. And I want it to be 1542 by 950. And five, uh, turn on my numbers lock. And was it 952? No, is it 950? 950. Okay, just so it doesn't like distort the images, you know. Um, put your reference in here. And it's not letting me drag them in. That's a shame. Okay. It doesn't have to be neat or anything, you know, you just literally it's just something to look at, something to keep you sort of in focus of what you're trying to get. Uh just blur them out a little bit so it's not too distracting, but you want to be able to see the detail a little bit. Uh yeah. Save that out as a JPEG, something like that. Um I'm just going to leave my desktop and I'll delete it later. Muscle stuff. Uh, and that's pretty much all you need. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, and in ZBrush, I'm going to go to Document, uh, Import, and just navigate to your reference. Always use reference, never sculpt from mind. Oh shit. Uh, the thing about importing images is that it takes on the, uh, the color information from the material, so. Just switch to something quite neutral. Uh, Matte cat grey is okay. Uh, let's re-import that. That's better. Okay, so this sculpt. How are we going to start this thing? Right, there's numerous different ways we can start this model, but um, I think what I'm going to use is uh, this new method that I've discovered. Uh, I'm just going to draw out any primitive shape. Doesn't matter. The uh, the shape will be deleted. Um, let's make sure we can see this floor. Um, I'll do. Uh, I'm just going to go to my brush menu by pressing B and I'm going to navigate to this IMMB parts, uh, insert multi mesh body parts. And when I've got that brush selected, press M, select this torso. And I'm just going to literally oh, need to make the poly mesh 3D first. <laughs> and I'm just going to pull out this mesh um, like so. And then I'm going to hit the R key so I can navigate to my. Uh, transpose tool. I'm just going to make sure that this is the right way up. This is a floor, so I want to make sure it's a vertical, uh, you know, towards the floor. So that looks good. Um, and I also need to make sure that the symmetry is lined up. It's a little bit off. Uh, I'm just going to pull my floor back on. Um, and you can see that very faint blue line here is um, is the actual center point. So I'm just going to sort of roughly line it up like so. And then we are going to go uh, turn the floor off first. And I'm also going to unmask that, this uh, subtool, because when you draw out using multi mesh, um, it does it on the same uh, active subtool. So we can just use our uh, brush here. Uh, if you press Control Shift, you're going to get this uh, these selection brushes. And what we can do with selection brush is uh, Control Shift, drag, uh, press Alt. Um, so we can now sort of get rid of this uh, circle that we don't want, or this uh, cylinder. Uh, it's going to do like so. Uh, but that's that cylinder is um, it's it's still there. Um, if I press uh, Control Shift and click, you're going to notice now that it's going to bring that cylinder back. So we need to get rid of it permanently. So I'm going to hide it again. Control Shift, press Alt to make it go red. Let go. Um, 
and we come down here to our geometry tab and it's under uh, modify topology delete hidden mesh so now that uh, cylinder is permanently gone we can click and nothing will be brought into play okay so now if we press M again to select uh, our uh, tools then this multi mesh we're just going to draw out some uh, male arms um, like so oh shit got to turn on the uh, symmetry just press uh, X on the symmetry or in the transform tab up here activate symmetry and just draw all these arms out and then we're going to use the transpose tool um, to rotate this round by pressing R uh, just switching between move and uh, rotate at this point and we need to think carefully about the position of this arm um, I always think in the, uh, the the sort of mindset that I'm making a game model so we don't want the arms to be too close uh, to the body otherwise we won't be able to animate them so I usually find a 45 to sort of 60 degree angle uh, it's pretty nice um, so you know I and mean, now we need to figure out the length of the arm if we look at our reference here uh, Mr. Coleman uh, you can see that the uh, the shoulder here the elbow is just sort of um, actually if you rotate this back uh, into that position that he has right now we can use that as a really solid piece of reference like um, this is what it's all about you know you just gotta figure stuff out from the, what you, you're using you know that elbow is about halfway down his back you can see the back muscles and the sort of indentation here so if we sort of scale this out a little bit uh, let me just pull this down again it was on the wrong side if we use uh, the move tool to sort of uh, pull it down we can sort of just stretch these arms a little bit more uh, and you can see that his hand just comes uh, just underneath his ass. Uh, his wrist is like just under the center so I'd say that, that is about right uh, for this uh, size torso uh, and now we can sort of just rotate these back out so we have a game sort of res uh, you know we're thinking about we're thinking about the position of this in, in terms to help us uh, and that looks that looks pretty good yeah uh, so now once we're happy with the placement of these meshes uh, I can uh, press control to access the uh, masking brush uh, and just drag to get rid of that selection now we're left with something that is uh, ultimately unusable it's not connected it's a bit you know you can't sculpt on this right um, but before I do something I just want to pull out a neck so I'm going to control I'm going to highlight this here well mask out this area and I'm going to control click to invert the mask and I'm going to turn off symmetry for this and um, what I'm going to do go to a side view whilst I'm dragging this out hold shift and that doesn't really do nothing um, let me just get back to that. Okay, I'm just gonna, whilst I'm in move mode, just drag up like this. Okay, once I have this line, I'm gonna position it to the base of the neck, and then I'm just gonna sort of imagine where his neck would be pointing, like so. And then what I'm gonna do is press Control and Shift and drag by the middle, uh, drag by the middle button. So it's um, basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna constrain to the um, the, the the way this. Uh, Thing is pointing so I'm just going to pull up a neck like so very roughly uh, just so I have uh, some you know stuff to work with here and I'm just going to hit uh, the uh, what is it? the uh, symmetry <laughs> and I'm just going to smooth us out a little bit um, and then what we can do now is that we've got like this base mesh uh, I'm only going to do sort of like around the shoulders and stuff it's going to be really time consuming um, right what we're going to do now is uh, Dynamesh this thing so we need to go to Dynamesh and just work out what res we need uh, we want to think about keeping the fingers and stuff uh, just hit Dynamesh now and that's pretty high res if we can get a bit lower that would be nice that seems to be there's a bit of warping in the fingers and maybe sort of 168 yeah that's, that's pretty decent uh, we have a few issues on the shoulders here from the, uh, the Dynamesh but you know it's quite easily just smooth this out like so let's get a bit of a more smooth result like so I'm just going to read Dynamesh uh, to update Dynamesh just press uh, the yeah, mask key which is control 
the swipe and it's going to update the Dynamesh. Uh, pretty weird to get used to but it does work and it's pretty intuitive so now we're left with a really nice base mesh to sculpt our crazily muscular guy. Um, a brush I recommend for this um, is Clay Buildup. I always mention this brush uh, and it's just so nice um, just for blocking it in and that's really what you want to be doing to begin with so uh, yeah we're just going to block in his pecs it's quite, it's just literally you know brush in these pecs uh, I'm looking at this picture here um, and I like using clay build up with the square alpha just because you can get the muscle definition really easily to begin with um, just because the, the way that the uh, the square brush works uh, is really nice so you know we can just go through here and now we're looking at the back of him you know we're just putting in these shoulder uh, deltoids uh, and then it has like a bump here where this sort of trap comes down uh, and this is pretty much what anatomy is you know you're just looking at reference images and you know you've just really got to discipline yourself to figuring stuff out you know um, but this this is a pretty sort of extreme uh, reference you know these guys Ronnie Coleman uh, if you didn't know this guy is he's uh, I think he's won Mr. Olympia eight times you know he's, he's pretty much the uh, the greatest bodybuilder who's uh, who's ever lived so you know in terms of muscle definition he's, he's pretty much the uh, the best human being uh, ever to use as reference <laughs> so you know it's just a good guy to use if you want to get the the most muscular looking dude ever um, but you know it is pretty laborious really uh, it's one of the reasons why I haven't really sort of it really does take a, a certain amount of discipline uh, in order to sculpt really good muscles uh, it's not easy um, it looks easy because so many people do it but you know it is really difficult to learn um, it, it just takes a long time for you know you to make something that looks good so this is pretty much the only way to do it you know it's just repetition and uh, you know just literally just spending the time to learn what it is you're doing you know um, okay moving around let's get these uh, triceps going now they seem to really bulge out of this sort of corner area here and uh, come down into this lot of lower arm here uh, like so the thing about sculpting muscles though is that um, it, you see muscles like every day so your, your brain sort of unconsciously knows what a muscle is and what it looks like and what it's you know what's supposed to what it's supposed to be um, so the slightest error in your sculpt your brain is going to pick up on that so fast you know it's so uh, automatically yeah, it's just really difficult to make something look convincing it's something that you see so many times every day that's why faces are so hard to sculpt right just because your mind knows like what it is a face looks like automatically so um, yeah let's get in his bicep now it, one thing that's helped me with my anatomy knowledge is that I sort of work out quite a bit now and I've sort of you know I've seen the changes on my own body uh, you know when you look in the mirror and whatnot and you can just sort of see the muscle sort of definition uh, and it's just I don't know it's just really helped me understand certain areas you know the best reference you'll ever find in terms of an, a human anatomy is your own you know so often look at yourself for anatomy reference you know it's helpful for stuff like hands that's for sure but you often find you know to be the case But I'm, I'm not really going to spend too much time refining him because you know it just it takes ages. You know I'm just going to try to do like a rough sort of guesstimation of this. Uh, I, want, I want to try and sort of you know get to the point where I can you know sculpt in a bit of a higher fidelity. Um, talk about you know trying to get some detail in here. But it, this is pretty much the only way 
to learn how to do muscle sculpts. Um, it's really going to be a test of your sort of artistic uh, uh, artistic discipline, you know. So it does get boring, uh, and I'm trying to get to the point where I can do more of these refer like studies and stuff. Uh, you know, really get my head down and learn about these muscles a bit better than I already know. As my, I haven't really sort of, I've only done a few anatomy sort of studies, you know, I haven't really opened the floodgates to this stuff. And I should be really, as a character artist, I really should be knuckling down on this stuff. It's, it's pretty much the, uh, the fundamental basis of all characters, is, you know, the knowledge of the human body. Um, yeah, I'll probably do a lot more of these. Um, let's just do a bit of ab work and then I'm just going to subdivide and I'll talk about how you can sort of refine these muscle groups a little better. Um, the thing is though, they don't doesn't really show on these guys, but uh, most sort of anatomy sculpts you'll see um, you'll see the top of the rib cage sort of like the top of the rib cage will sort of come down like so, and then you'll have you know these little muscles. I don't know what they're called under the chest here. They sort of look like little lines, um, but the top top of the rib cage will come down, and then you'll see the uh, the uh, highest ab, and there'll be an ab there, and then you'll have this that connection, that sort of triangle area coming round here, like so. That, that that's pretty much comic book sort of comic book sort of anatomy knowledge. It's a bit rough, a bit you know, it, it takes some refining, but uh, I really can't be bothered to do it. It just takes so long to do, you know, just just to sort of trying to make everything look uh, what it should be like. Uh, it just it just takes a really long time, um, hours. Um, but you know that is usually how most comic book characters have. You know, they have that top of the rib cage bit there, or bottom of the rib cage. Sorry, the top of the there. <laughs> yeah, the bottom of the rib cage and the abs would be sort of showing underneath like so, and then yeah, so. His neck's looking a bit funky. All right, so that's that's a pretty rough sort of top torso. Um, now, what we'd have to do at this point is we subdivide, uh, Control D, uh, smooths out a little bit, and then what I would use is probably Alpha Six or Alpha Twelve. Uh, we'll try Alpha Six, and all you try to do is with Alpha Six, which is a nice smooth brush is um, you just try and make these muscles you know look like muscles <laughs> there is no other way I can explain it to you you know it really is sort of you know it it's just up to you as a, a sculptor to identify with what looks right uh, and what doesn't look right uh, and I, I, you really can't teach that uh, it's all down to your discipliner and just how much you practice, how much you study muscles, um, how much you sculpt muscles. Um, there is no, I mean, there is no other way of learning how to sculpt muscular people uh, without doing hours and hours of studies. You know, there's, that is just the only, that is just the reality of what it means uh, to be a character artist, I guess. Uh, but this brush is a nice brush for, you know, really sort of uh, giving it that sort of massy feel you know when you look at muscles and they, they look like they're bursting out of the flesh this brush is real nice for sort of giving that sort of feel you know just giving it light brushes everywhere uh, just to, this just must be something to do with the fall off of this brush it just works well uh, yeah I really did like this brush when I first discovered it uh, for doing organic stuff uh, you can sort of, you know, it, it's starting to take uh, a little bit more of a, a human-like texture now. You know, use smooth every now and again to sort of, you know, smooth out areas a little bit. Uh, but it really just depends on what reference you're using too, you know. All, all people's bodies are, are different, you know, so it's probably one of the biggest things about doing anatomy, you know, it's all subjective to like what your reference is. Uh, in this case we are doing the most notorious bodybuilder in, in human history. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's, it's really uberly rough is my, my sculpt, you know. 
um, you know, you just have to go through the notion of upping the subdivisional level, but I think this level that we're at now is a really important level. Uh, it's that level of, it's, it's you're putting in really sort of high landmarks, you know, you're doing like, the most important part of the model. Um, the fidelity later on, when you sort of go up to the really high subdivisional levels, is going to help make it look more real, but you need to get the big landmarks down first before you can do that, and this is what, this stage that we're at now is what that's all about, it's the big bulges, you know, the big muscles, that you can start, you know, that, that really hit the light, you know, the light hits, uh, that really casts a lot of sort of powerful shadows and stuff like that. That is the most important part of sculpting people, you know, getting those landmarks right. Um, and it's all about practice, you know. I mean, I, I'm probably making tons and tons of mistakes. If there's somebody watching here, you know, who's studied anatomy and stuff, you know, it's, uh, I really do need to <laughs> do this a bit more. But, you know, it's, it doesn't look too bad. You know, I'm not an expert on anatomy, but I, it is recognisable as a human being, I guess. Um, yeah. But it's just something you can't teach. I cannot teach you how to sculpt realistic muscles. You know, it's just something you have to figure out. You have to feel out. You know, you have to feel in the brushes. You know, I can tell you what I use. You know, to do certain things. But it really does depend on how much you practice this stuff. Uh, that, that's just a simple truth. Um. But, you know, there's so many different things you can do to make it look like, you know, more muscular and whatnot. Uh, like I mentioned at the start of the video, you know, vascularity. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's easy to do vascularity. I mean, the thing about vascularity is it's a lot to do with veins and stuff. Uh, a good, I'll teach you a good... Uh, I think I if I I think I explain this in the the brushes uh, video. If you use standard brush, uh, but if you've got a stroke, lazy mouse, uh, bring up this lazy radius to about thirty. Uh, lazy smooth, bring this down. The uh, lazy step, so you use the uh, the alpha a bit more, and you know just bring this up, bring your focal shift down, and you know in terms of doing like big veins and stuff, this is an excellent brush. You know, you can get these big popping veins uh, going around his body and stuff. And, you know, just look at these, what you've got on your reference, really. You know, veins act, you know, pretty strangely, you know. When you see, like, pictures, it is totally different to what I thought in my head a vein looked like. I'm on muscular guys. Um, yeah. You know, there's so many different ways you can make a guy look more muscular. And eccentric veins, you know, works. You know, it's one of those things that people understand, you know, oh, he's muscular, man, he's got big veins, you know, it's just something that people can recognize. Um, but, you know, the more and more time you spend on a, a sculpt like this, the better it will look. Um, but the main thing you want to do, if you've never sculpted anatomy before, is get some reference. Um, have a look, Google Google anatomy, Google uh, muscle anatomy, you know, so you can see just exactly how the muscles work, you know. You need to know these things in order to make it look good. Um, but yeah, it's just a quick dirty tutorial on how to sculpt muscles, really. The veins are a bit overkill looking at this distance, but, you know, yeah. yeah that's just something you'd have to sort of, you know, really go at, you know, with the you know when you're figuring stuff out. Uh, but I hope this is helpful. Uh, use clay. Use um. What is it? Use clay build up. Clay build up with a soft alpha is real nice for doing muscles. But just study. Just study. Get some pictures like this. I know it's pretty weird. Um, pretty pretty weird thing to be looking at. But you know, it's just the only way you improve yourself. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Quick dirty tutorial on sculpting muscles. I uh, hope this has been helpful.